Oh, I'm lazy. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm just finishing off the ladder bars. I've done the cross brace in the middle. I don't know if you can see it from there. It's all bolted up. Everything's all nice and secure now. Really, really pleased with that. And the bit I'm going to have a go at now is try and, I don't know if you can see it, not, where the bracket is here and the bracket the other side. I want to try and tie them together. <coughs> the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to use a piece of tube which is this tube here and it, what it's going to do I can see that's it this piece of tube is going to um, brace the bottom of the brackets for the wheelie bars the way I'm going to do it is obviously the bars just sort of resting through there at the moment is I'm going to get cut it to length I'm going to machine um, a thread insert for it and I want to clamp it to the bottom. What I've done, I've machined these two little pieces up. That one goes on the inside. Like that, if you can see it. That one will go. I bet the other one falls out as I push it in. Goes in like that. So stay. No, oh, so not stay. Well, you've got the idea. It does go in. Just been a bit awkward one. So that clamp in between there, I should put a bolt through there, you can see there, and it'll pick up with the tube. So what I'll do now is just quickly go and show you how I'm machining these two. I've got to make another pair now. Oh, so I'll just stay there now. So eventually that go on there like that. That'll have a threaded insert. A bolt goes through there. And that tighten up and that hold it nice together. So that give it a bit more support, stop the uh, flimsy brackets twisting they're flimsy, they shouldn't really be flimsy they're like a quarter of an inch or six mil but I'm not completely happy with it so what we do, we pop next door in the garage and I'll show you how I quickly machine these other two pushes up ok we're back in the garage uh, I'll just show you quickly this is my old lathe it's an old Myford it's, it's pretty worn out really but it, it does the job, it's ok for very small jobs it doesn't really like this piece of alley I've got in here at the moment sticking out too far. I'll just do a, a quick couple of cuts just to show the lathe working and I'll show you how I made these little adapters up. These are little adapters, you can see them a little bit clearer now. That one goes into the, the bracket of the willy bars. I've put a little, little piece there, that's where the bolt head goes on so it doesn't actually start churning it all up. These are made of alley, but again I should paint them because I don't really want them polished because that means I have to keep going on these polishing. That's one side and this side here. Let me see it. That goes the other side where the uh, bar goes. So I've got to do them as a matching pair so when they go together, like that, you see it? That gap there has got to be slightly less than 6mm because the plate is sandwiched in between 6mm so it's got to be slightly less so let's have a quick look at just a little bit of machining As you can see, I can only take a small cut at a time because the lathe's really old. I think there's a bit of play in the bearing on the headstock, it's like shattering, but normally you take it in about, you do a couple of roughing cuts and a finishing cut. But this one, I have to do about 100 roughing cuts. So I'll do, I'll just quickly face it off there and I should do that and I can start measuring it. I'll get it done. Now, let's make it look exactly the same as that. 
and another one like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.